the Seleucids. The Syrian rulers are termed Seleucids because their kingdom, one of the successor states to Alexander's empire, was founded by Seleucus I, Nicator. Most of the early rulers bore the names of Seleucus or Antiochus, and they ruled from Antioch on the Orontes River. The energetic ruler Antiochus III, surnamed the Great waged a series of battles with Egypt until, in 199 BC, he wrested Palestine from the Ptolemies after the Battle of Panion, near the sources of the Jordan River. This marked the beginning of a new era of Jewish history for, while the Ptolemies had been tolerant of Jewish institutions, the Seleucids determined to enforce Hellenism upon the Jews. The crisis came during the reign of Antiochus IV, surnamed Epiphanes, who found allies in the Hellenistic party in Judea. In the early days of the reign of Antiochus IV, Jerusalem was ruled by the high priest Onius III, a descendant of Simon the Just, and a strictly Orthodox Jew. The Jews who looked with favor on Greek culture opposed Onius and espoused the cause of his brother Jason. By promising larger tribute to Antiochus, Jason succeeded in having himself appointed high priest. Although Antiochus looked upon the high priesthood as a political office which he had a right to fill as he pleased, pious Jews thought of the priesthood as divine in origin and considered its sale to the highest bidder a sin against God. Jason encouraged the Hellenists who had sought his election. A gymnasium was built in Jerusalem, Greek names became commonplace, and Hebrew orthodoxy was considered obscurantist and obsolete. Yet Jason argued with his close companion and fellow Hellenist, Menelaus, of the tribe of Benjamin, who offered higher tribute to Antiochus than that paid by Jason, and had himself installed as high priest. The Orthodox Jews who had been scandalized when Jason was named high priest, were more deeply disturbed when Menelaus, a Benjaminite with no claim to priestly office, was installed. Jason raised an army to back his claim to the high priesthood, and Menelaus courted the favor of Antiochus. The Syrians, who were campaigning against Egypt, felt it essential to maintain effective control of Palestine. Antiochus staged a sneak attack on Jerusalem one Sabbath day, when the Orthodox would not fight, and slaughtered a large number of the enemies of Menelaus. The city walls were destroyed and a new fortress, the Acre, was built on the site of the citadel. Antiochus determined to remove all traces of Orthodox Jewish faith. Israel's God was identified with Jupiter, and a bearded image of the pagan deity, perhaps in the likeness of Antiochus, was erected on the temple altar, where swine were offered in sacrifice. Jews were forbidden, under penalty of death, to practice circumcision, Sabbath observance, or the celebration of the feasts of the Jewish calendar. Copies of the scriptures were ordered destroyed. The laws were enforced with the utmost cruelty. An aged scribe named Eliezer was flogged to death because he would not eat swine's flesh. By force of arms Menelaus continued as high priest and the Hellenizing party gained a victory, yet the Hellenizers had gone too far, and their very zeal to annihilate the old order proved their own undoing. The Orthodox were willing to die for their faith, but all were not convinced that they should die passively. 